Hello everyone. In this video I will be ranking all fruits from worst to best. I already did this video before, but that was on update 3. Now we have more fruits added, so I decided to make another video about this. Enough talking, let's get right into the video. The worst fruit in the game right now is Kilo. Finally a fruit that's worse than Sake. This fruit is really bad. All you do is fly up or down slowly, and the worst part is it takes a lot of stamina. The only attack move which is Kilo Crash has a really long cooldown. Took me a minute just for this move to go off cooldown. Anyways don't eat this fruit, I would rather be invisible. After Kilo, we got Sake. All you do with Sake is be invisible, make your friends invisible, and throw rocks. The rock move is almost useless, but being invisible is useful at some situations. For example. Cause I did. What? That's not fair. That is fair. But the thing is they do run out of stamina though. I'm finding this other Dude, I can M1 him, right? Yeah, so what do we restart wait, or what? Wait, Crank is already done. Do we restart or what? Cause I'm stuck here. Hey, yo, we got one on me, bro. Wait, are you still alive, Suki? I'm, I mean, I'm at the bottom of the There's ocean. There's a Suki user hiding, bro. If you can get out of there, then you're good. What? That makes no sense. Do not underestimate Suki. I'm just kidding, don't eat it. The best common right now is Spin. Spin has a good and fun flight move, but it drains your stamina. Spin has two good attack skills, unlike the other commons. Spinning Cyclone is really good, because it can combo extend. It's also good for farming NPC for levels. Twister Throw is good for dealing extra damage. You can eat this fruit if you want, but I recommend not to. Next fruit is Gomu. This fruit was good, until Gatling got nerfed. Gomu is pretty decent for Kraken farming only if you lore. You cannot solo though. For dungeons Gomu is kind of bad, after the boss buff, and Gatling nerf. This fruit is decent for PvP, and grinding levels. If you know how to successfully land Gatling, you can one-shot Marine Captain with Gomu too, making it good for ship farming. Overall this fruit became from one of the best rares to the worst one. After it got nerf, other rares are better now. Next is Horo. This fruit is really good for PvP. Negative Hollow has aim lock and can stun the enemy, even if they are blocking. Horo is good for Krakens. Just use Ghost Form and spam M1. You need high M1 damage though. Horo is decent for dungeons even after the nerf, however it takes a lot of time to solo. Horo is really bad for ship farming. Overall Horo is a decent rare fruit, it would have been higher if it was not nerfed. Next fruit is Mero. This fruit is one of the best fruits for PvP right now, due to its really good stuns. Mero is decent for grinding levels. Pretty decent for dungeons, but it requires time and skill to solo. It's also good for Kragens. You can solo within 5 minutes. Just put a lot of points to fruit. But it's bad for ship farming. Overall Mero is pretty good. It's either the third or second best rare. After Mero, we have Barry. Barry is decent for grinding levels. You can gather all NPC in one spot and use barrier cage. Barry is bad for Kraken and ship farming. You can solo dungeons with Barry, but it takes time. Barry is really good for supporting your friends in dungeons if you want to reach wave 50 plus. Barrier is also really useful for almost all situations. You can protect your friends, trap your enemies, and more. This fruit is really good for public wars. Barry is decent for PvP. You can use barrier cage to trap your enemies. Overall berry is a good fruit, it's more of a support fruit, and is really useful for most situations. After berry, we have Gura. Gura is kinda bad for a legendary fruit, but it's the most balanced legendary fruit. Gura is good for grinding levels, dungeons and PvP. It's kinda bad for ship farm, and decent for krakens. It is recommended to put a lot of points into fruit, except if you PvP. Overall Gira is just decent, there are many fruits that are better than Gira, it receives a 7 out of 10 for me. Next is Bomu, yes there is a rare fruit that's better than a legendary. Bomu is really good for dungeons, you can solo within 20 minutes and one shot bosses. Bomu is decent for kraken and ship farm, 
for Krakens just use your ult and get enough damage. Bomu is one of the best fruits for grinding levels. Just use your ult. Bomu is decent for PvP if you know how to use it. Overall Bomu is the best rare fruit. The best thing is it's easy to get by trading. It gets a 7.5 out of 10 for me. After Bomu, we have Zashi. Zashi is really good for PvP. It has a combo extender and meteors that deal high damage and can guard break. It's good for dungeons. Since it has a flight move, it's better to solo in Sky Island with Zashi. Zashi is good for Kragans. Just spam meteors. But it's bad for ship farming. The only problem with Zashi is the meteors have long cooldown. Overall Zashi is a good legendary fruit, but other legendaries are better. It gets a 7.8 out of 10 for me. Next fruit is Goro. Goro is one of the best fruits for PvP. It has really good moves and has a combo extender. Goro is really good for ship farming, good for dungeons and levels, and decent for kraken farming. The problem is all moves are blockable, and Goro is a boring fruit according to my friends who used Goro before. Overall this fruit gets an 8 out of 10 for me. Solid fruit. Next fruit is EA. This fruit is pretty underrated. It's good for grinding dungeons and levels. EA is one of the best fruits for ship and kraken farming, because you can walk on water which is one of the best things to have. EA is also really good for PvP. It has long stuns and short cooldowns. Overall EA is a good fruit. It gets an 8.3 out of 10 for me. Next fruit is Suna. Even after it got nerfed it's still a good fruit. It's one of the best fruits for dungeons. Since it has flight and a move with big AoE which is Tornado, you can easily kill bosses and NPC if you put many points into fruit. It's really good for farming levels and krakens. Just spam tornado and spatter. It's still good for PvP after the cutlass nerf. If you know how to use it well. It's bad for ship farming though. Overall Sooner is still good. It gets an 8.5 out of 10. After Sooner, we got Pika. Pika is really good for dungeons. It's behind Sooner. It's one of the best for ship farming. Just use Light Kick and Ray. It's also one of the best fruits for grinding levels and krakens. The ultimate is really good for krakens. But Picker is pretty mid for PvP. It's decent if you know how to use it though. Overall Picker is still really good from update 1 till now. It gets a 8.7 out of 10 for me. Top 3 fruit is Tori. Tori is really good for everything. It's the second best fruit for dungeons, one shots captains when ship farming, OP for PvP, really good for krakens, and you can heal. The only problems with Tori is a stamina drain, and it's hard to get. Overall Tori is really good, also underrated, it gets a 9.3 out of 10 for me. The second best fruit in the game is Mera. It's the best fruit for dungeons, can one shot ship captains with pillar, really good for krakens and levels. It's also really good for pvp, if you know how to use it well, flame pillar is op, and does not consume a lot of stamina, which makes it better than tori. Overall Mera is just really good, it gets a 9.5 out of 10 for me. You already know, the best and most brain dead fruit in the game is Magu. It's the best fruit for krakens, ship farming, boss farming, really good for dungeons and levels. And for pvp oh my, I hate fighting against magu users the most. Literally a single eruption and fist deals like 400 to 600 damage, making it one of the best fruits for pvp. The moves also have low cooldowns and low stamina drain. Ever since the eruption buff, this fruit came from the bottom to the top. Overall magu is the best fruit in the game. It gets a 9.7 out of 10 for me.